Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really, really quick poster in Word. So let's open a new document. And the first thing we're going to do is to go quickly onto the internet and go to this website here. Now don't worry, this is really, really quick. There's no signing up, you just download the pictures that you want. So it's SVG, which is a file name, file type, and then SILH for silhouette. So I'm going to go in here and in the search bar up here, I've just entered birds and then I'm on page three. So as you can see, I'm now onto page three and I've selected to download this image here. You simply click SVG and then it goes into your downloads. Now back to your image. So let's just pop in a background, go to insert picture stock images. Now these images all come with your Word software. So once you're in images here, go to the search bar and just type in texture. And then you can select from any of these textures you like, but I've selected this texture here. Click insert. And then to make sure we can move this around because we can't at the moment, just select the image. Make sure you're on picture format. Go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Now we can move this around. And I'm just going to stretch it out across my page, probably to about there. Then go up to insert, shape, go to the circle in the basic shapes. Now when you click and drag, hold down your shift key so you make a perfect circle. And we'll just make that circle big enough to stretch across our page. I'm going to put it a little bit further down and then click on the background texture. Just pull this down so that we make it stretch to the back there. Perfect. Now I'm going to click on this circle. Then I'm going to go to shape format, go over to format pane and then this menu will appear. Go to fill, go to gradient fill, and as you can see, I've rehearsed this before, but this is where you'll input all of your colors. Now you can add these markers by clicking this add gradient stop, and if you click it, you can see I've added one here, or minus and take it away. Now what these will do is you can slide these up and down. If you look at my image, you can see how the color's affected by not so much this one, because we've moved the circle, but you can see when I move these, it adjusts the linear gradient. Okay, so to change these colors, at the moment I'm on linear. You can select from any of these, radial, rectangular, this is circle or circular gradient. So in order to change these colors, click on one of these stops. You can see it's surrounded by an orange outline go to color, click on the drop down, and then you can select from an array of colors here. If you haven't got the color that you want, go to more colors, and there you've got your color wheel. Then just go ahead and click on the various colors that you want. I've chosen the standard orange here, and then here I've selected from this color here, and then again the red is this color here. Okay, you can also see there's a border line around this circle. Let's just get rid of that by going down to line here, click on the drop down and select no line. Now go up to insert, go to picture, picture from file. Here we'll go to our downloads and select our SVG file and select insert. At the moment, it's disappeared. You can see the outline here, but you can't see the birds. So before you click away from it, go up to wrap text and select in front of text. If you accidentally do click away from it, then simply move the background. The birds will be exposed, bring them to the front and then move the texture back. So we have our birds here, which I'll just enlarge. Once again, if they don't move, go to graphics format. Make sure you've selected the birds. Go to wrap text and down to in front of text, and then we can move them around. You can make them as big as small or as big or as small as you like. And then we can also use this rotation arrow to rotate them to make them look 
as we wish. And there you have a really, really quick and simple poster in Word. I hope that's helped you today and inspired you. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.